BBC Africa Eyes documentary on racism for sale is an expository covers of many anomalies permeating across the African continent. Investigated and reported by Runako Selina, the content revealed how Chinese content providers in Africa have been taking advantage of Africa's congenial nature using the poor African kids to say things in Chinese language that are stark racist in nature. Yes, you heard that correctly. The kids are saying, in Chinese, I'm a black monster. My IQ is low. Jokes about black people club. Some people were laughing. Others were outraged. The word they're using is heigui, which could be translated as black monster or black devil. But really, it's the Chinese equivalent of the N-word. The documentary's plot is based in Malawi's rural area, where a Chinese content generator called Suzu is camping poor rural kids to dance and say words that they did not understand in the pretext of helping them. These racism videos are then sold in China for around 70 to 100 US dollars per content. As if that's all, Suzu, as he is called, was tracked to a restaurant where he uttered statements that tactically represent what others, especially most Chinese investors in Africa, perceived of African people. Considering that he was supposedly in Malawi to teach Chinese, I found this particularly ironic. But Susu wasn't done with his opinions about black people. The good news is Malawian authority has taken a step at probing the racist video involving child exploitation. Today, across the African nations, there are myriad of businesses owned by Chinese with millions of African workers. In recent time, complaints have been surfacing about Africans being exploited in Africa by Chinese employers. According to a report, Chinese investors exploited African people and also took advantage of them by making them work abnormal hours like slaves. The deportation of 18 Chinese investors by the president of Rwanda, General Paul Kagame, is a testimonial to this fact. Kagame ordered for immediate deportation of these investors after being found guilty of mistreating Rwandan workers and grabbing land on which they operated their business. Paul Kagame says, Africa is for Africans. We can be slaves in Africa. We don't tolerate the nonsense of discrimination here. It is true that China has done so much towards the development of Africa with many infrastructural strides, healthcare and credit facilities, especially during and post-pandemic economic crisis in Africa. 
This report doesn't take away the fact that there are many good Chinese people on the soil of Africa. In fact, there are countless. It is time for Africa to wake from its deep slumber. We must not allow racial discrimination and exploitation on our continent. That has been a form of slavery across the continent that must be expunged. This neocolonial style comes in various aids and supports, but beneath them are a deeper agenda bad for the African people. Aid is about supporting social and economic transformation of people. And in supporting them, aid must do those things that will eventually see people wind of aid. Remember, neocolonialism takes the form of economic imperialism, globalization, cultural imperialism, and conditional aid to influence or control a developing country instead of the previous colonial method of direct military control or indirect political control.